So Lynn Digital, actually you guys have an interesting background, uh, not actually a digitally native company. Explain to me a little bit about how Lynn Digital came to be what it is today. Yeah. No, and that's the fascinating thing I think about Lynn as a company. Um, you either know us or you've never heard of us at all. Yet we are 53 years old this year as a company. We're a billion dollar a year income company and uh, we're public. Um, we started off in the television business. We own and operate 43 television stations, TV affiliates in 30 markets. So ABC, CBS, Fox, etc. We're actually number one with those TV stations in all of our markets as well. The digital business kind of grew from our television business around 15 years ago. When we would acquire a television station in a new market, we would acquire that local TV affiliate website. And that grew and grew and grew. So we have around 75, 80 TV affiliate sites, which is the local channel and the local news station. Over the years, sort of 10 years ago, we started to see more and more advertising from get pushed down from television down onto those O&O operated sites. Kind of thought, OK, there's a model here. Digital is growing. We've got great relationships with agencies for broadcast. How do we expand digital? So in the last, I would say, five years, we've aggressively built our digital business up through acquisition and organic growth. So right now, um, some of you may have heard, um, in the last two weeks, we acquired Federated Media, um, which is our largest acquisition to date. And you know, one of my most you know, excited tremendously about that acquisition. And what that's done for Lynn right now in a digital um, space is made us, you know, with combination of that and other acquisitions we've made, we're top five uh, Comscore video platform, and we're going to be top 10 display platform. Um, but more importantly, the technologies that we've built in-house and acquired through this now sets us up as probably one of the top five digital media companies in the US. So we're excited about our growth. Yeah. We're excited about adding that to our television business as well. So uh, you talk about adding it to the television business. And clearly, uh, a big challenge is this cross-channel. There's screens everywhere, and uh, where do you think the, the real struggle is in making that a reality, being able to run across all screens? I think that it, it's been talked about for three and five years. I've done panels where I've been on with t TV guys, Nielsen people, measurement people. It's like, can we buy cross-platform efficiently and at scale, and can we do it? Um, it's a great conversation. It happens all of the time. And I think you know, measurement has been the key. TV is bought one particular way. Digital has been bought another. Mm -hmm. Two different media buying departments uh, with different disciplines, different measurement analytics, and different KPIs based on the performance of success. What we've seen in the last 12, 18 months as a television and digital business is that measurement is becoming consolidated. And agencies that we work with on both sides of the fence, both on broadcast and on digital, are coming together. We've seen a big shift of video being the biggest shift in the last 18 months, now being bought by broadcast departments oh. within agencies. So you're saying coming together, kumbaya sort of thing, but it's really TV's winning. Yeah, it's kind of TV's kind of like saying, OK, when Nielsen measured, this is how we buy locally, this is how we buy nationally. Video as a product is growing tremendously. Mm -hmm. We've seen a 300% growth in video in our own business in the last year and a half. And so now, in two years ago, we were dealing with video buys at an agency, a lot with the digital team. We've seen a big shift in the last 18 months with the broadcast teams now activating video at the local and the national level mm -hmm. and pairing it with Nielsen in terms of So there's obviously, so. you know, there's, there's pluses and minuses to everything. Um, and I would imagine there's pluses and minuses to this. I mean, if the broadcast group is controlling, you know, video broadly speaking, yeah. and you're using more TV-like measurement, I mean, there's always been this sort of, you know, to GRP or not to GRP yeah. debate. Um, I mean, is there a risk of losing what makes digital unique? I think that can happen. But luckily, what's happening is that all of the analytics that go with pure digital measurement for video are still being baked into that overall buy. So it's, if a video is being bought by Nielsen, and it's being, you know, the measurement of that is in line with television in some ways, and it's missing out on some of the other key measurements that are available from a digital standpoint. 
we're actually seeing those being added on now. So we're actually seeing a blend coming together. So that, yeah, we can deliver a video, you know, um, by gross rating points. We can target it exactly to the metrics of Nielsen, bring it in line with a TV buy. But at the same time, we're able to give more now a long tail view of the performance of that video, mm -hmm. a little bit more. So, but again, it's about efficiencies and it's about scale. And I, I wonder if the drive for efficiency and scale ends up sacrificing something. Though. I guess, uh, you know, Nielsen seems, uh, I actually worked for Nielsen when I worked for Adweek, so I sort of know how, at least as a corporation, how advanced it was. Um, it seems like going back to that kind of measurement is sort of a step backwards then. I mean, isn't it? Because, I mean, we're talking about, like, estimates and, and... It is. It's estimates. And, you know, pe people either love Nielsen or hate Nielsen in the industry. And that's how it lies. However, you know, you're looking at television still owns 50% of all media today, okay, in terms of media spend. And, you know, outdoor is the next major product. So when you look at it, it's Niel Nielsen as a company, you know, does one thing well. It brings efficiencies at scale. So are sacrifices being made? Well, in terms of buying media efficiently for a brand at scale, it works well. Okay. In terms of are we getting the right information? Are we knowing exactly the, is this hitting the core market, the right demo? What determines success of a video online with Nielsen compared to measuring it with two or three other different measurement companies? What's the most successful way back to the brand to say this was successful? So it, it's kind of, nothing's being lost, but we're all learning. I think the evolution of measurement um, now is at its height. Mm -hmm. It's at its height. A, a year ago, there was 10 players in the market. In the last 12 months, we're probably dealing with about three or four. So if you were to look at the challenges to, to cross-device, I yeah. mean, do you think, is it, is it now not the technology, it's, it's literally just the sort of measurement and business processes? I think technology is there to a point and making sure that, you know, we deliver content across all devices. So, you know, we're, we're pushing out news programs and sports programs and television onto the desktop, onto tablet, and then mobile, and then in-app. So it can be done. It can be done, and it can be, you can take a brand all the way through that journey, and you can measure it in one report, you know, and that is happening, but we're doing that with our own content and asking a brand to take that journey with us. In the agency space, we're having conversations um, about how can we do that for brands that are spending X amount with us on air, X amount digitally, and X amount on mobile and tablet with us. How can we be more efficient working with you as an agency to say, hey, let's plan a little bit ahead and let's see how we can really optimize that as well and make it work. So those conversations are where we're at now. And that, th that's exciting. Mm -hmm. I think for the first time, measurement is key, but also technology to drive that is important because without the technology, you can't measure it. And again, you've also got to watch user experience. Okay. So, so I want to open up to questions, but first, um, and I don't remember if we discussed this, but so it might be a surprise. Uh, I want to do a little word association. Uh, if you could just tell, uh, you know, I'll throw out a term and just the first thing that comes to your mind, sort of try to keep a tweet sized response. So, um, you ready? Is it professional or are we going personal here? This would be fantastic. Well, you'll find out. <laughs> Let's you'll see where find we go. out. Okay. Um, <clears throat> real time marketing. Interesting. Okay. Uh, WhatsApp at $19 billion. Fantastic for the owners. <laughs> okay. Brands as publishers. Say that? Brands as publishers. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, figuring out ROI and social media. Enjoy it. <laughs> You're good at this. Uh, the mobile banner ad. The mobile banner ad. Evolving. Oh. I like it. You just went in like one word. That was good. Maybe we'll change it to that. Uh, we, have, we have a little bit of time. I want to open it up for anyone uh, with some questions. We have a microphone or two. What team do I support? Manchester United. <laughs> There's, one. There's one. There you go. <laughs> Anyone? OK. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you so much, Jamie. Appreciate All right. it. No, thank you Thanks, very much. Thanks, guys.